firing of cannon shots is a popular cultural practice in southeastern part of Nigeria. Cannon shot is also called Mwanani in Igbo language. This is an improvised explosive device which is made of compressed gunpowder and sand in metal jacket. The metal jacket is shaped into a pipe placed in the ground. Rural news tourism took us to Obodoku, a community in Imo state where we learnt about the process of preparing and firing cannon shots. insisted that I have to follow him to an assignment so that I will see where he's firing it and he said we'll be moving out early in the morning because he has different periods to fire it but here I just want to see what I can get before I leave. Our link is Ikechuku Obidike, one of the most popular hands in the cannon shots industry in the community. Ikechuku, popularly called Bature, took us through the process of preparing and firing cannon shots. The process began with the filling of cannons or pipes with gunpowder. Some persons mix the gunpowder when they buy the right chemicals, they mix it with charcoal to get the dark color. But most others buy already prepared gunpowder and use it for their business. filling the pipes with gunpowder, the next is to press them in first with a pointed iron and this is to ensure that they penetrate every corner of the pipe, that is the metal jacket that holds the gunpowder. You use the pointed iron to force the gunpowder into the lower ends of the pipe.
Next is to tightly press down the gunpowder into the lower part of the pipes using a stick. At this point, I tried it out with Bature. What a technique! Next step is to fill the pipes with sand and tightly compress them into the pipe again. The sand is actually what gives out the gunshot sound. As the gunpowder is lit, it forces the tightly fitted sand off the pipe and in the process a loud deafening sound is heard. Probably, you may not have known that it is actually the sand that gives out the sound, not the gunpowder. What the gunpowder does is to provide the force that pushes out the sand. How tightly fitted the sand is determines how loud the gunshot sound given out will be. After pressing down the sand, there will be space in the upper part of the pipe. What you now do is to fill it again with sand and then gently press it to tightly fit into the pipe. Now there are small holes in the lower part of the pipe and that lower part is where you have the gunpowder so you ensure that the sand that has touched that part is removed and then you fill it with gunpowder that is the part that first catches fire when the gunpowder is ignited the next thing is to carefully fix the pipes into the ground making sure that the upper part is positioned such that it offloads its content directly into the sky Then the process of firing the cannon shot begins by pouring gunpowder on the floor. The gunpowder is poured on a line that connects all pipes so that when ignited, the entire pipes will explode one after the other as they come in contact with the line of fire provided by the gunpowder. After pouring the gunpowder on the floor to join all pipes, then comes the stage that requires ultimate bravery, and that is lighting the gunpowder. You have to strike a match and place it on the tip of the line of gunpowder, and then step back quickly and observe from a distance as the cannon shots explode one after the other. Why many people usually take off as the cannon shots are about to be ignited. I decided to stay close and watch. So we to stay here and, uh, 
watch uh, the man ignite the fire for the cannon shots. And uh, it is all about bravery. You know, as a brave journalist, I'm going to stay here and watch it. And people run away when it's, you know, the sound is coming, but me, I'll stay here. Let him put it on, let him put it on. There's actually no need to be afraid because the cannons direct the shots upwards so nothing like danger to anybody around. So there's actually no need to be afraid. You can actually stay and listen to it sound. It's just, just beauty in the sound. Next is to remove the empty pipes from the ground and refill them for the next round of shots. Bature explained to me how he was going to fire the 55 rounds of shots which his client had paid for. This is the hole for the first one. This is the hole for the first one. Early in the morning, when the corpse was brought to the house for the first time, after which they moved to the church, then this is the second one that we just finished now. After that, you can put back the cannon into the same hole. Then he has now shifted for the next round of shots. And that is that. 55. That's the total he will do for this particular burial. 55 shots. They are going to be fired intermittently in between the event. As the barrier peacefully goes on with friends and well-wishers visiting the bereaved, the cannon shots operator stays nearby, communicating to the outside world using loud sounds. What an interesting experience this is. The cannon shots industry is indeed a territory where only the brave and extremely careful survive. <laughs>